Hi, I'm Christopher. Hi, I'm Annalise. Hi, I'm Doyle. Hi, I'm Sarah. And this is Group 2's Vlog 2. For this project, our objectives were to design a new ice cream flavour and gummy inclusion, as well as to determine the freezing time of our ice cream, while also having it assessed by consumers. Our beautiful packaging would colour the same brown as the ice cream, and placing the popular boba balls and drinks on the cover, along with our magnificent logo, our fun, funky and fabulous packaging is something that will appeal to our target audience of adults aged 16 to 30. Coming in at 95mm in diameter and 100mm in height, our cylindrical 500ml containing packaging will help to determine the total freezing time for our product. After calculating the water, fat and solid content of our product, and with having the freezer at negative 30 degrees and its air flowing through at 3 meters per second, we have calculated that the time for the ice cream center to be at negative 20 degrees to be roughly 4 hours. We carried out our sensory test at the Massey Albany Village campus. We got 38 respondents overall and primarily they were university students. We asked questions about the colour, texture and flavour of the ice cream, as well as the flavour and colour of the gummies. We also asked about the overall liking of the ice cream and gummies together. This is our penalty report. So any point impacting 15% or more of respondents and causing a drop of more than 1.5 points are included in the critical corner. The attributes in this group are most in need of adjustment. As can be seen from our graph, there are no points in this quadrant, which is a very good result and indicates to us that there are no immediate changes that we need to make. Overall, 92% of respondents liked our ice cream and we achieved a mean score of 7.03. This indicates to us that we have made a product which will be highly acceptable to consumers. Our product achieving this score is a good indication that we are close to target quality. In making the ice cream, we had to come up with a HACCP plan in order to prepare and prevent any possible hazards that could occur when making the ice cream. Shown here is a data sheet with some of the possible hazards that could happen when making ice cream. For our final ice cream concept, we ended up choosing to use black tea as our flavouring for the ice cream, while also taking advantage of using the natural colouring of the tea to colour the ice cream a light brown colour. The formulation that we came up with was 6 kgs of low fat dairy base mix, 0.156 kilograms of TCB liquid black tea extract, 0.048 kilograms of Fajua black tea powder extract, while also having a 60% overrun for a more premium product. We decided on using a mixture of both the liquid and powdered tea extracts for the flavouring of those two specific extracts gave us an overall better flavour combination that was more enjoyable than the other individual extracts. To decide our final gummy shape, we did a simple survey at Westfield Albany. Even though the method we used may have caused some errors, it was very exciting and new to meet people and talk about our product. The result turns out, from the total 77 participants, Sarah's boba design was the most popular with 38% of the votes, with the widest range of age. So our final gummies are made in boba pearl shapes, natural colouring with unrefined dark muscovado sugar and brown sugar in 1 to 1 ratio. And for the subtle flavour of the premium sugar, no flavour extracts other than 2 grams of vanilla essence were used to disguise the unpleasant smell of gelatine. Previously, we tried using molasses instead of the muscovado sugar, but it was too bitter that we knew it's not going to work with our delicate natural tea ice cream. Considering a product prototype has been released, advanced improvements can be carried out with more detailed sensory testings and analysis. Overall, we are very happy with all of our work so far and glad that our efforts have been positively recognized by the participants. Thank you.